Hey everyone, just another Tesla guy here. It's snowing here in Jersey, um, so we just want to see how it performs with 13.2.2. All right, let's engage full self driving. Okay, seeing that there's a car coming out here. All right, okay. It's snowing here, we just want to see how it performs. It's snowing here because we're in the East Coast and it does snow here. Um, we're not lucky like the West Coast, perfect weather. So this car just sitting here. Let's see what it kind of go past it. I'm trying to change the speed profiles here, but it's not giving me the option. Okay. So this car decides to go around it. Let's see. All right. Okay. Full self driving does, does the exact same thing. I, I wonder if that car wasn't there, would it? it have done that or would it just have seen that there's a, a public vehicle parked here and it would just go around all right it's going here the roads are slippery um lots of snow you can barely see the lane markers or at some cases the lane markers are blocked so definitely we'll see how full self driving performs here okay right let's see Hey, it's doing good so far. Alright, just making a right turn here. I'm just going to disengage to avoid... Nope, I barely avoided myself either. But to avoid, there's a major pothole here. So, did want to avoid that. Alright, made this right turn. And then you're going to re-engage. Disengage to avoid pothole. Didn't do a really good job at that because I went over the pile slightly, but what could have been worse. Okay, he's probably pulling me over to the side because it thinks I reached my location. All right, give it a few seconds. Okay, recognize that we're good to go. Slippery okay. roads here sliding a little bit okay probably because of warning because it saw that uh, pedestrian on the street no pedal press just a car doing this all by itself pretty sure we can turn here but it's not doing so all right Turning now. It's going wide. It's good. All right. We're just on this block. It would have been easier for full self driving to just make a U-turn, but it didn't do that. All right, need to make a left turn here. All right. We cannot proceed straight because there's construction cones, the road is blocked. So, all right, and I think full self driving already saw that. That's why the blinkers are on, and it okay. We should have stopped. So, right there, it proceeded past where it should have stopped at the red light. I don't know if it because it recognized that it was gonna turn green, so it did proceed, but it should have stopped. Okay, waiting for these pedestrians to finish crossing. Good job on seeing that and good job for recognizing the road closure. All right, despite the map, okay, no. All right, I think it's just trying to pull me over here now because I'm at my location um, and there's no parking on this side. So let me just edit the trip quickly. So what happened was um, it pulled me over and it put me on the brake because I got to my location. Despite the map telling it to 
go for it down and make a turn. It didn't do that. So I guess it doesn't actually follow the map anymore because it takes into account what it does see and making decisions based on that. It's around 9 a.m. The snow was a lot worse around 8, 7, se around 7 to 8 a.m. It's definitely better now. It has let up. All right, this is the right turn lane only and shouldn't have been doing that. All right, taking our right turn here. Right, good job. All right, I'm gonna stop here because it wanted to proceed straight a lot more, I feel like. And we're supposed to stop where I am right now when it, it's a red light. Oh, sorry, I forgot to flag that message to Tesla. So I did disengage there, one disengagement. Again, it's not like it wasn't like it yes it would have been unsafe for the car to stop up front because you want to give room to larger trucks that are making a left turn but when I disengage here it wasn't like if I continue going something bad would have happened so I don't know but I did have to disengage right here um, it didn't stop when it where it should have stopped All right, we're good to go. Let's re-engage. Right, with, with the right turns now, I have seen it go a little bit more wider, which is good. Okay, see, why would you move to the left to move back to the right? Driver behind me probably think, what the heck's wrong with this guy? Can I add another location before I go back home? Because it has been doing pretty well. Uh, let's add right here. Edit the trip here. It definitely needs to go wide here. And it does. Okay. Come on. Let me remove the location. Wow. Okay. It stopped right here because it saw those pedestrian crossing. We could have definitely made through before they start to cross, but good job on recognizing that. All right. I'm just going to take over here uh, just because of all these potholes here. I don't want it to go too fast and just run over one. Right here, it decides to take a right on red. Okay, just please be careful here. All right, not too bad. Not sure why you need to stop here when we have the right away, but definitely want to be safe. Okay. All 
Okay, there's a car coming at us. All right, it's slow down. Gave room for this car to pass. This was a one-way street, but that's okay. All right, we're good to go. All right, move over. Disengage to avoid pothole on the ground. So just going over these roads, Bailey, I know like how to avoid the potholes. Um, so I did do that. Okay, and it, this has definitely been shoveled since the morning because you could barely see the lane markers here earlier in the morning. Couldn't even tell this left lane from the middle lane before. And it has definitely, uh, snow has definitely let up. So it's much a, a little bit easier for full cell driving. All right. Added one more stop, uh, did pretty well. So do want to see how it performs here. It's definitely not taking the road where all the other cars took. So you can see it's a little bit more on the right side. Are you going? Yep. So here you can see most cars are a little bit on the left side. You can see it's a little bit more clear here, but it's not doing that. It's staying a little bit more to the right side. All right, stopping here. Sees a pedestrian crossing the street. right turn here hey it's gonna pull me over it's gonna wow look at that it's trying to parallel park into a spot back into here awesome Right, please don't go too close. Please don't go too close. All right, good job. So here you can see again to actually reverse, just fulfill these two conditions, turn the steering wheel, and then press brake. Okay, it took too long to do that, so it went away. But I feel like it's a little bit easier just to swipe here. Um, but overall, that was a great drive. Even park, pull over, and park parallel park for me. Um, Handled the snow just fine, despite some of the roads being blocked and you couldn't see it. I did do one disengagement, uh, mainly just because it went a little bit close and it didn't stop where it should have stopped. It was totally fine for the, the car to go up there at that moment because it was clear. But we know there could be a big truck turning in, so we definitely want to stop further back to give room for it to make the turn. Otherwise, this was a great drive for uh, full-cell driving. All right, let me know your thoughts.